Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to give you a demo of pipe drive. So this video really is intended for people who are either maybe brand new to pipe drive or maybe you don't have a CRM yet or you're using another CRM and you're thinking about switching to pipe drive. I really want this video to be a bit of an intro so you can see what it's like, what it, how it works, and uh, you can get a bit of a, an overview. If you do want more detailed training on how to use Pipedrive, I'll link up here a link to my getting started guide on YouTube. Feel free to also post comments down below if you have specific questions. And if you do want more one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options, where we can help you to set up your account in the best way, import data, automate your sales process and train your team. So what is Pipedrive first of all? Well, Pipedrive is a sales CRM, customer relationship management system. So it's really well designed for the sales journey within uh, a business. So let's explore some of the features that help us with that. The first thing that a lot of users want to do is import contacts, uh, either past clients or leads into their account. And so we have this area in Pipedrive uh, for contacts and information is organized into organizations and people. So organizations typically are the companies that we're selling to. So a good example of that would be Apple. So here is the Apple organization. You can see I've imported some information here like their address, their, their CEO, uh, what type of company they are. So if you need to collect information and you want to store information about your customers, clients, you can, you can import those companies. Underneath organizations, we then have people. So these are the contacts that you're selling to that are linked to or associated with an organization. So here's Tim Cook. It's actually got my email and face in here, so this is, this is not a good example, or it's not real rather. But this is where you can put in people's contact information, uh, job titles, we can add tags, and you can customize these fields here. So all these fields you're looking at, um, I can, I've changed these, I, I can add my own fields if I want to set up drop down menus or text fields or date fields for things like someone's birthday. I can customize all this so that I can import all my contacts with the information that I need. As I mentioned, this is linked with a contact. So I can see here that Tim Cook is linked with the Apple organization, which is great. So we've got organizations, we've got our people, so that's really where we manage our contacts in this system. And then what you can do is you, when you're ready to start selling, is you can set up either a lead or a deal. So let's talk about leads first. So if I go to this lead inbox up here, the lead inbox is this place where I can either import a CSV of leads or people that I'm trying to sell to, um, using the lead booster features, this is an optional add-on in Pipedrive, I can set up live chat, uh, a live chat widget on my website or a chat bot. I can also set up web forms like a contact form and I can even use the prospector to um, set up my uh, target audience and go and try and cold call my target customers. And so all of these different tools here will feed into this lead inbox. So if somebody um, fills in the web form, for example, it can create a lead. So here's actually uh, Tim Cook. We can see the contact information and the organization data that we looked at before. And now on the lead, I can start to input information about this lead. Maybe I want to say, you know, what type of uh, opportunity is this? Maybe it's a consulting opportunity. Uh, this is, again, I've customized all this. So what you see here, this is specific to me, but you can change all this for your business. Uh, I can say, you know, who, who referred or where did this lead come from? You know, this came from Google. I can write a little summary up here about the lead. I can put in maybe their budget if that's important to me. So again, we can customize all that data to make it suit your account. And then in this timeline here, I can add in some notes. If I want to write some notes about this lead and, and keep an eye on or, or track where I'm at with this lead, I can put some notes in here. I can also set up activities for myself. If I want to set a reminder to maybe follow up later this week, I can schedule an activity in here. And if I have my email connected, if I use Gmail or Microsoft 365, I can actually compose uh, and send emails using templates 
directly from within Pipedrive. So it's even populated Tim's name here and I can uh, click send, there we go. So that is, uh, that. those are leads. So we typically use leads or we use the lead inbox when you have identified you know, potential prospects who might be interested in your product or service, but they aren't really qualified yet. So we use the lead inbox to manage everyone that we're initially talking to. And then when you um, confirm that, yep, yeah, Tim Cook is a, is a good prospect, he's, there's, there's a sales opportunity here, we can convert this into a deal. And so now I can move over to my deal pipeline. That's this, uh, this menu here. So this is the view that you've probably, probably seen before or you might be familiar with if you've used other CRMs. And again, all of this is customizable. So these stages at the top here, these are the sort of key milestones in my sales journey. Um, so I've got a qualified lead comes in. So there's Tim Cook there, the qualified lead. And then I'm gonna uh, make contact. I'm gonna arrange a meeting and I'm gonna move him through these stages as I gather more information and try and sell to this person. So the difference between the lead inbox and the deal pipeline, lead inbox is more for your new contacts, unqualified leads, and then the deal pipeline is for your actual sales opportunities and people that you're actively selling to, you know, you're sending proposals and quotes and things to. Uh, a deal is very similar to a lead. Um, all the same fields that we saw before, my summary, my budget, my type and everything I've got there, that is all uh, copied across when I convert this into a deal. I can still see all my contact information for the person and the organization here. And just like I could with my lead, I can schedule notes, I can create activities and I can send emails from this deal view. A couple of other things I can do from this deal screen is I can also make phone calls. If I'm on the professional plan and I have the calling integration set up, I can actually call this lead through the web and I can, I can actually make calls. I can also upload files to this deal. If I want to store contracts, proposals, I can store my important documents here. One of the cool features in Pipedrive is the Smart Docs feature. So this is where I can set up a template for something like a contract or a proposal, an NDA, uh, a quote, something like that. So if I want to, for example, send a contract here, I can create a new document from a template. I can pick my contract there. And then what Pipedrive will do is it will take information about the, the client and it will populate that into my document. So here we go, we can see the company name Apple has been populated and their address has been filled in here. And then when I'm ready, I can share this by sharing a link or I can even request a signature. If I want to email this to uh, Tim Cook in this case, uh, maybe I'll remove myself, I don't need to sign, but I can send a copy to Tim Cook and I can request a signature on this. So this is really great because it means I can manage my entire sales process in Pipedrive, uh, where before you maybe had to use tools like HelloSign or DocuSign for sending contracts and things to be signed. Now I can actually do a lot in, in Pipedrive. And then the final thing I can do on a lead here is I can create a draft invoice in my QuickBooks or my Xero account. So there's a lot I can do here on the deal. And so as I'm selling, as I'm um, pitching my product or service, I can move the deal from one stage to the next up here. And a feature I really like as well is I can set what's called an expected close date. So I can say, you know, I'm expecting to close this deal this month. And so when I've got that set, if I go back to my deal view, if I switch to, I've got some view options up here, if I switch to this forecast view, I can now see when my deals are likely to close and I've got a projection up here of my projected revenue for the month. So based on the expected close date that I set and the value of the deal, I can get a bit of an idea of how much revenue I'm gonna close and, and whether I'm gonna meet my sales target. So that's really cool, I really, really like that feature. Now on a daily basis, one of the ways that uh, we teach our clients how to use Pipedrive is to use the activities screen. So this activities screen is kind of like your to-do list and each salesperson has their own to-do list. So any activities that I schedule, either on a lead or if I'm on a deal here, if I come up here and schedule an email or a call or maybe even a meeting, when I schedule that, I can see what's on my to-do list here on this activity screen. And so this is really where Pipedrive becomes really powerful and really helps you to close more opportunities because it encourages good 
habits and a good follow-up process from your salespeople. So um, I'm always reminded when I need to follow up, who I need to call next, and uh, this means that leads are much less likely to slip through the cracks and get forgotten about. So I've got some activities I need to do today. I can click on this and it will bring up the deal. So I can see, uh, if I go to the deal screen here, I can see the information about the, uh, the deal here. Um, I'm doing a day one follow-up, so maybe I will go to my emails. I can pick a template. I've got a template ready to go. I can hit send. And so, uh, yeah, using this activity screen is a really useful way of um, driving your behavior each day and making sure you're following up with those leads in a timely manner. Now, one of the uh, more advanced features of Pipedrive is workflow automation. So this is where we can set up automated sequences that help you to um, streamline parts of your sales process. So for example, uh, here's an example down here of a workflow where when I create a new deal, and maybe I only want this automation to run in certain situations where the deal has come from my website, I can set up actions. So for example, I can say, send an email using a template so that the lead will automatically get this, this email. And I can create an activity for myself to follow up with this new lead. So by using workflow automation, you can really um, establish really consistent processes within your pipeline. So as you onboard new salespeople, they simply need to start using Pipedrive and moving deals from one stage to the next. And the workflow automation will trigger emails automatically. We can create activities to remind you when to follow up. We can update different aspects of the deal. And so this, these features really help you to sort of step up your sales process and uh, automate uh, and streamline parts of your, your sales journey. Once you've been working in Pipedrive for a while, it's worth heading over to the reports. So in the reporting area, in the insights tab here, we can set up a number of different dashboards. Uh, if you're on the professional, you can have multiple dashboards. Um, smaller price tiers, you can only have one dashboard. And this is where I can now analyze and make sense of what's going on in Pipedrive. And these reports are really customizable. So I can click into a report here and I can see uh, things like my the value of the deals that I won last month and what products or services those were for. I can even see a summary of the deals down here. I can measure things like uh, recurring revenue. If I'm selling subscriptions or any kind of recurring retainer based business, I can actually track recurring revenue in here. I can track the volume of deals that I've opened. Here we go, open deals by stage. So I can see where in my sales journey I have the most deals. Um, I've shown this in previous videos. We can even track things like costs or commissions being paid. I can track activities so I can see how many activities my sales team are completing, number of calls, emails, quotes. I can even track things like um, the, the value, uh, the number of deals being lost and why they're being lost. So here I can see price was too high, client wouldn't respond, bad timing. So this really helps me understand where are we, what are the weaknesses in our sales journey? And I can even understand my overall conversion rate. So of all the deals that we create, what is my win rate as a percentage? So reporting is something, uh, I love digging into this data, but usually this is something you'll, you'll want to spend some time looking at after you've been using Pipedrive for a little while and you've got some data to look at. Uh, also in here, we can actually set up goals as well. So if I have specific targets for my sales team, I could create a goal to do something like, maybe I want to uh, assign Paul a monthly sales goal. Maybe, maybe this is for this year. Let's put this to the end of the year. Okay, I've got a monthly goal to do $10,000 worth of sales. So that's given me, in this case, or my salesperson, a target for the year. You have to do 10K in sales per month and myself and my sales manager, we can easily track how I'm doing on those sales goals. So you can either create revenue-based goals like this or goals to um, create a certain number of new deals, which is great for measuring marketing. Or you can create goals to track activities. Maybe you need to complete a certain number of phone calls or send a certain number of proposals. And so really great way to motivate your sales team and, and track their performance in the CRM itself. In terms of Pipedrive's pricing, I actually have a full video talking about pricing in a little bit more detail, um, but there's a number of plans you can get started with. Firstly, there is the Essential, which is kind of like the very bare bones basic version of Pipedrive where you can create your pipelines, you can create contacts, 
um, and uh, schedule activities to manage your follow-up. Then we have the advanced plan, which I would say is probably one of the more popular plans, the advanced, the middle tier there. Uh, so it's $24.90 per user per month if billed annually. And this unlocks more features like workflow automation, uh, the email integration, group emailing, full email sync with templates and scheduling, and, uh, and, and really just gives you that extra level of power. And then finally, we have Professional, which is $49.90 per user per month billed annually. And that gets you even more features, um, things like the calling integration that we looked at before, more advanced reporting, like revenue projections, forecasting, and custom reporting. Um, you get more uh, uh, higher caps and allowances for things like your workflows and the volume of deals in your account. So um, you can you can look at all the different features that are available in here and the different caps that apply for number of deals on each of the tiers. What I usually recommend when getting started is obviously sign up for a trial and uh, I've included a link in the description below for my um, where you can sign up for a, an extended trial using my partner link. I would usually suggest starting with probably the advanced plan. I think that's a good one to get started with, but then depending on what capabilities and features you need, you may want to consider upgrading to professional if needed. So that is a brief overview of Pipedrive. Obviously, there's a lot to unpack. There's a lot of power under the hood and different features. Uh, if you do want to learn more, like I said, I've got plenty of videos on this YouTube channel or there's a link in the description below where you can um, learn more about my consulting services and get access to a full online course where we show people how to set up their Pipedrive account from scratch and all the different best practices and features that you can use. Again, if you have any questions that I can answer for you, please post those in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. If you'd like more help with Pipedrive, setting up or optimizing your account, getting more out of the tool and automating more of your sales process, then check out my master Pipedrive program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so that you can connect with me and get help and your questions answered anytime you need support with Pipedrive or you can book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me so that we can take a deep dive into your account, I can show you key features, and I can even conduct group training sessions. And you'll also get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and advanced topics compared to my YouTube videos. So if you really want to master Pipedrive, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.